What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Isaac Hongos and in this video we're going to be going over my Proton Mail review and why it's a great product with a great mission but one that I would never recommend to the average person that isn't tech savvy. Now if you don't know what Proton Mail is, it's a highly encrypted mail service that's based in Switzerland. In Switzerland they have some of the most strict privacy laws in the world, which makes sense as to why they're based from there and their servers run through there. I am a strong advocate for on-device processing, privacy, no logs, no back doors. So this was my general gravitation towards the product. The application and their bread and butter doesn't really hold up, especially as they're expanding and bringing on different categories like Proton Drive, and Proton Calendar. Let's start off with the biggest reason that I like them is their mission to make sure that user data, especially with emails, is being kept safe and you're the only one that gets to see them. You don't need to put all your personal information onto this. You just need to sign up and create an account. It's very simple and it reminds me of like 2004 through like 2012 where you didn't really need to put in all your personal information to get an email client. In general, that's where my liking for the product stops because the user experience is just so horrendous. The lack of features are so minimal that it's incredibly difficult for me to recommend it to a single person that's not willing to go through these hurdles to make sure that they have a good email experience. This is clearly all software. It's a lot easier for me to criticize than it is to build. Software is extremely difficult to make. Making sure that everything works together and there's no bugs is a very daunting task. And I'm taking this from the design perspective. So just be aware of that. And if you're a software developer, I know it's freaking hard. At the very top of the list that every email client should do phenomenally at this point is 2021 people being able to search my emails. Let's say I'm looking for just a regular invitation, type it in. I think that I typed in everything as perfectly as I possibly could. It shows me zero results and it doesn't give me suggestions. I realized that the problem that I was having is that I wasn't typing everything word for word. The subject that I was looking for had to be typed exactly as it was. And you can't even mess up the uppercase or lowercase of an invitation or general email. So you're gonna have a really fun time digging through the entire application, trying to find one email. I know that this is because they don't collect your data and they're not digging through. A lot of people dig through their email just based on guessing and they don't remember the full name. I've been using this for years and I don't feel like they're ever pushing to make this happen. If you're an individual that likes to dig through their emails in this way, then this is gonna be a really frustrating thing to constantly do and to scroll down the endless list of emails that you have, trickling down the list though. Overall, I just hate the entire design of the application. It's dull, boring. It feels like it's made in like 1998. I think we could take a lot of great cues from Gmail, which is the most popular email client, take a lot of their visual cues. But every time that I get an email through Proton Mail, I dread it because I really want it to look beautiful and it really doesn't. Continuing on, you have to load your content manually every single time, especially when it comes to advertisers. And I get why they do this, right? If you open an email on another client, they load it automatically. The advertiser is able to see that you open that email. If you think this is gonna be annoying to do every single email, then this might not be the application for you. But to me, it's really not a big deal because I think that a majority of what the advertiser is sending is based on text. So I just read the text. <sighs> okay, so we've talked about the search and the home, the way that the home looks. Now let's actually talk about writing an email. Just the overall way that putting an attachment on an email looks is absolutely horrible. This is all text-based. Just look at this, okay? Like, it looks so horrendous. Who thought this was a smart idea? What it gives me is not a visual cue, but a bunch of words and letterings and the name of my documents. Um, why do I need to know the name of my photo when I'm trying to make sure that the photo that I attach is the correct one? It does this with files as well, which I think is a little bit more understandable. You know, when we're writing emails, we're not just attaching Word documents and PDFs, we're also attaching YouTube videos, photos. They need to come up with a better preview image, especially when it comes to just like regular attachments. I do find 
myself constantly being shot into the spam folder like a 50 50 chance that if i'm reaching out to a person for the first time i'll end up in their spam folder and you know the first year that i had this i realized that i was getting sent into the spam a lot then i got the premium version and apparently when you get the premium version you get a unique ip address that your emails get sent from and i found myself being reduced in spam if you're reaching out to someone i think the best workaround is to have them email you first but if you're doing like multimedia marketing you own your own business or you're sending a bunch of cold emails this is not a great service for business lastly relatively small you can't schedule an email every other email client can do that for this email client to not see the other feature cues that other competitors have just seems really bizarre wrapping up my general thoughts proton does not have design at the very forefront of their application. Don't get me wrong, it's not just them though, it's any company that wants privacy like DuckDuckGo and Signal that don't really seem to care too much about design because users will just kind of get it, right? You have to guide people, let them know that design cues from other really great applications are also available here. From my overall experience over the past few years, it feels like design is a third thought right behind which kombucha they're gonna drink that day. And I wanna recommend this. I wanna recommend the more private version of Messenger or an email client, but I can't really do that. I'm gonna stick with Proton because of their mission, but I hate that I have to be like, oh man, it's such horrible design, but the mission is so good. I just can't recommend it like 90% of the time because I know that people like certain features, the way that other clients look, because emails are dreadful, first of all, and you wanna have a great experience when you're doing something kind of dreadful, right? So those are just my thoughts, my opinions. Did you think about switching to Proton Mail? Do you still wanna use Gmail or are you looking for a better, more private centric email client? At the end of the day, I thank you so much for your time and your attention. My name is Azmi Hongos and I'll catch you in the next one.